are crazy. There was a time when Larry King interviewed Satan on his radio show. And at one point during the interview, King asked Satan, what is the foulest deed you've ever done? Satan said, well, I don't really have an answer because I've caused so much destruction over the years, cut so many lives short, started so many wars and calamities that none really stand out. And King pestered him, come on, surely there must be one foul deed that you think that you are most proud of. And after a few moments of thinking, Satan's eyes brightened. And he said, well, if I really have to name one <laughs> particular evil thing that I'm most proud of, I'd say this. Several years ago, I invented credit cards. <laughs> Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and honorable guests, our society has become credit card crazy. Many of you have credit cards, and some of you carry a balance at the end of the month. I'm a personal finance coach, and I teach people how to get out of debt. The most common misconception and the most widely defended one that I come across is that credit cards are great because of the rewards that you get. Almost everyone I come across says this. And today, I'm going to tell you why this kind of thinking is flawed. Why rewards are not the best. And I have two reasons. One is overspending, and the other is compound interest. First, credit cards cause overspending. I always hear from people, oh, the rewards are so great. I get stuff like cash back and airline miles. Cash back and airline miles, the greatest invention since the invention of sliced bread. Cash back and airline miles. Who wouldn't want 1% to 5% cash back on things that they were going to buy anyway? I sure would. Truthfully, for most of us, this is too good to be true. You have to understand that this kind of mindset makes you focus on the rewards that you get from spending with a credit card rather than the actual amount of money that you are spending. For example, a $150 pair of blue jeans. Instead of questioning whether it's a good idea to purchase it, your mind shifts to focusing on the, war the rewards. You justify the purchase of this $150 pair of blue jeans by saying, oh, well, I'm getting 5% cash back, so I'm actually saving money. Mathematically, if you do the math, you're not really saving $7.50 in cash back. What's, ha what's actually happening is you're you're losing $142.50 by spending money on something that you don't actually need. Psychologically, this kind of rewards mindset causes impulsive shopping. It causes you to promote this kind of thinking, such as, well, just this one time, I'll treat myself to something nice. It also promotes this kind of attitude some people have that inner kid inside that says, I want it, and I want it now. I'm gonna buy it now. No one can stop me because I have a credit card. I can get it now. This rewards mindset causes you to overspend. Second, if you're not going to pay off your balance off, and balance off every month, you're not benefiting from the reward system anyway. From my experience, most people who sign up for a credit card do so with a good intention in the beginning that they will pay off their balance in full every month. 
Doesn't work that way. Take the case of Tanya. Tanya is a middle school teacher in her 20s. She signed up for a credit card several years ago, and she was responsible. She paid off every month in full. But when she moved out of her parents' house and moved in with her boyfriend, things changed. Pretty soon, she couldn't keep up with her payments because she had so many expenses. And today, she's thousands of dollars in debt. And her case is not special. It's quite common. Her reason for why she's there might be different, but the result is the same. Some people get laid off. Some people have an emergency. Some people buy a house, and all of a sudden, there are so many expenses that come up with living in a house that they get into credit card debt. This is a huge problem. According to Value Penguin, 38% of credit card holders in the United States carry a balance every month. And the average interest rate is 14%. So any rewards that you're getting, they pretty much get wiped out from you paying interest. To sum up, the rewards mindset causes you to overspend on things that you don't need. And also, any interest you pay will cancel out the rewards that you get. This is quite a disempowering mindset. A mindset that I promote is to just use a debit card, stay within your means, and to focus on making money, focus on investing yourself, on educating yourself, so you can get a raise, a promotion, so you can make more money instead of focusing on rewards. Thank you.